So today's video is going to be about um, how we can calculate the um, PGL elevation for any alignment um, using uh, GeoPack. So the first thing that we need um, to do is if we right click and go to user settings then um, we need to make sure that our GPK um, directory and our working directory are, um, are mapped to the GPK that we want to read. So in this case um, it's at this location but I want it um, the GPK that I want to read is at another location so I'm gonna click the magnifying glass and map to that location and this is on my desktop um, 59 GPK so this is where my GPK is located at that I want to read and then I'm just gonna copy this and then just make sure that the working directory is the same so when we click OK then now if we go to GeoPack Road Geometry Coordinate Geometry then we'll click on the job and we'll see all these um, these GPKs. So if I go to my um, my Windows Explorer, I can see that this is the location that I um, mapped to, and here are all the GPK files that we're able to see. So it is reading um, this location. So I'll come here and click this first one, job um, 058. Click on it. I'll hit OK and then um, we can come to element profile um, utility and then I'm going to pick my alignment let's just say um, the uh, northbound frontage road and I'm gonna describe this and now um, to get the elevation along this alignment um, at any station I'm gonna go to element profile and elevation and I'm going to click the same um, profile which is northbound and let's go ahead and check this let's check this VPT um, 180.55 so let's see if it gives us this elevation here so 180.55 we do compute elevation should be for um, 462.1 and that is exactly what we get here at the bottom 462.1 and it, it gives us um, the um, the VPI that we that we are on and um, it it'll tell you if it's on a curve or a tangent uh, but mo uh, most importantly it'll give us this elevation and if we wanted to just click any other elevation for some reason compute elevation then it'll give us this information and we can come check here to 400 and we see that it is on a curve because it's in because it's um, in between the VPC and VPT so I think this is a pretty cool um, feature if you know if you know about it because um, it is important to be able to calculate the um, PGL elevation for any alignments that you're working on and in the next um, coming days I'll have a video on how to manually calculate um, the PGL elevations um, depending on if, if if it's a tangent or a curve so be on the lookout for that um, and that's it for today's video. Thanks.